Hello and welcome back to Larry's Furries, where we learn about animals and learn how to pronounce a teacher's name. But before we talk about animals, I'd like to talk a bit about grading. Because the report because as you know, the final grade for the first marking period was done was done this past weekend, and some of you may not be satisfied with the results. So for those who aren't, I would like you to consider a parable. The classic story by the Greek author Aesop of the, of the tortoise and the hare. So the hare was ki was kind of a bully, which is a problem itself, and to intended to taunt the tortoise about about the tortoise's uh, slow speed. So one day, the tortoise, being fed up with this, challenged the hare to a race. So the hare agreed, and that so they so they uh, met at a so appropriate racing in location, and you know, the, you know, the race the race was started. The uh, the tortoise and the hare each dashed dashed off, and the hare, being a faster runner, quickly pulled pulled ahead to a point where he couldn't even see the tortoise. But the hare did not really take the race seriously, so the so the hare, you know, got got bored and decided to go go off and take a nap. Meanwhile, the tortoise kept plodding over, over to the finish line, and uh, the hare w finally woke up from his nap. We remembered, oh yeah, I have, a, I have a race going on, and so dashed to the finish line, but he found he was too late. The tortoise had beaten him. So, the, the moral of this story, of course, typic, typic, I mean, obviously, there's several. One of them is, don't be a boy. Another, Another, another more classic one is that is the idea that slow and steady wins the race, or don't, or don't be, don't be lazy, you, you stupid hare. I mean, but I think the la the last version of the of the moral is probably the most important one, is the lesson for for you as students. So, the, so those of you who took the tortoise's path being slow and steady, completing each assignment as it was as it was done, making sure to do your work properly, generally did well, got A's and B's. Those are people who are who like the hair, you know, we're, 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 didn't take it seriously, we you know, sat you know, sat around napping uh, during during class time and uh, and and ended up at, at the end of the uh, of the marking period, realizing, oh yeah, we I I owe a lot of work, and they are scrambling to turn to turn in assignments late. Generally, did not do so well. The assignments were poorly done, got lower grades, so a lot of their students uh, got C's. And of course, there's students who never who never even woke up, and you know, and it ended the marking period without turning in their assignments, got F's because they didn't complete their work. So. There, there's our moral lesson, which is probably the most important thing I have to teach you today. But, however, since, since this is still an animal feature, let's, let's examine more closely our protagonist, the hare. So, kingdom Animalia, because trees don't run very fast. Phylum Cordata, again, vertebr we have vertebrates. Invertebrates mostly aren't much runners either. Class Mammalia. Hairs of mammals. The order Lagomorpha is the the broader bunny family. So it's so it includes rabbits, hares, and a group of animals known as pikas, which are small which are small creatures that look sort of like a, sort of midway between a rabbits and rodents that live typically live in mountainous areas. Family Leporidae restrict. The purity restricts down to the true bunnies, so rabbits and hares, and this, and because Aesop was an ancient Greek writer, we know that this particular species under discussion has to be Lepis Europaeus, the European hare. So here's the European hare, 24 to 40 inches long, got ear, the ears, because rabbits and hares are famous for long ears, so these ones are about four inches long. Weight of a hare is roughly seven or eleven pounds. They're herbivores. They eat, they eat mostly grasses and and flowers and things like that because they live out in fields. Uh, 
hares are notably social animals. They tend to forage in groups, you know, for, for, in part for mutual protection, you know, able, ability to spot predators and give warning. And so, pro probably the, mo the most important thing that you would, you would need to, to learn about, the, about these uh, bunnies, aside from, you know, aside from you know, what we've already mentioned, would be the distinction between hares and rabbits, because this is something that most people don't know and it often confuses them. So if you look at the pictures, the top picture are hares, the bottom picture is a rabbit, specifically a European rabbit, the ones you, you'll, that you'll find in the same, roughly the same environment with the hare. So the biggest distinction between the two is that hares live in, open, live in the open, wide open fields, whereas rabbits tend to, tend to live in environments with, with more shelter. Often, they're often, often environments with, shru, with the shrubbery hedges mixed in. Often, rabbits also tend to, tend to dig burrows for themselves, whereas hares just, just nest in the field. And so these, these animals are adapted to, the, to their particular environment. So hares are, are endurance runners that they're capable of running across long distances because that's what they need they would need to do in order to escape predators in an open field. Whereas rabbits are more are more of sprinters because because they, their instinct when when a predator comes is to get, is to duck, is to dive into their burrows or under a bush or, or some shelter like that. Um, because also because because of living in open fields, uh, hares are pretty much able to uh, move to move around independently from birth, whereas baby rabbits are ten, tend to be blind, hairless, and helpless because they they live in the in the burrows where they don't need to be able to move around. And of course, one a, a culinary point for humans who might who might want to ca catch and eat uh, these animals as game. Uh, both, uh, both rabbits and hares are edible, but but uh, ra rabbits are generally considered the better eats. Uh, hare hares are basic are basically a tough and gamey and need to be a sl slow cooked in some manner. <laughs> All right. So since I, since I spent a lot of the time uh, telling fables, uh, let's wrap let's wrap up about the animals pretty quickly. But look at the environment. So European hares have a very large natural habitat. If you, if you if you look at the map, they're found naturally pretty much all over Europe and well into Asia. They've also been introduced other places by humans. Those are the spots marked in red and you know, the little parts of Australia, New Zealand, South America. There's been some attempts to introduce them into into North America, but only small populations there. Most of, most of the bunnies that we actually find in North America are, are native are rabbits and hares rather than the European introdu introduced varieties. And because of the European hare lives in such a wide habitat range, the species as a whole is not in any particular threat. We, kn we know that hares are going to survive. Local populations in some areas are more at risk, and so uh, some European countries have instituted uh, protections for these animals, which of course were tra traditionally hunted as game and often, consi often considered nu as nuisances by farmers because they live in because they live in open fields, like such as farmland, and will occasionally eat the crops. <sighs> so that's, that's the hares. Stop it. Sources, the st as I said, the, the Taurus and the Hare, f Hare fable comes from, comes from the, fam the fam poet, famous poet Aesop. Factual information, most, I, di I, didn't tell, I didn't tell you much, very, ge very generic stuff, so Wikipedia covers that. Pic pictures are the most, again, mostly from Wikipedia contributors cited here. They're, they're, they're under BCCY. CCBYSA, so the, sh the share like license, which means that anyone is is likewise a free to a sh to a share and use this video for whatever purpose. <sighs> that's and so that's all for all for today. And once again, do do your work slow and steady. Does win the race in ac in academics in your in your classwork, even if it even if it doesn't in an actual foot race like in the fable. <laughs>